Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Halo 3 Campaign Co-op Deluxe block set uh, from McFarlane. Uh, this is from the Series 1 wave, and it contains four figures. Here's the back of the box. Uh, you can see the names of the characters. Uh, pretty much very hard to pronounce. And uh, the rest of the Series 1 wave, which I do have. I don't have one in Micro Ops, though. Um, but, yeah. Alright, so here is all the figures outside of the package, and uh, the weapons were actually really hard to get on the figures. Uh, for some reason, um, well, being McFarlane, not for some reason, it's pretty much obvious. And I didn't want to heat up the fingers or anything, um, because uh, that kind of would have ruined it. I actually have never done that before, so I'm a little worried about that, so I just kind of squeezed the weapons in there, which is really tough. And uh, But let's go ahead and go on to one figure, one by one. Alright, so here is Master Chief. Uh, this is the Halo 3 version, the most recent one we've gotten. Uh, I think we got one back in 2011 in the Anniversary Edition pack. Um, this is actually the first Halo 3 Master Chief I own, so it's very awesome to actually get him. Uh, he's one of the most um, common characters, actually, in the McFarlane Halo line, obviously. Um, but he has two weapon peg holes on the side to hold weapons, which is awesome. Uh, the army green color on him is very accurate and looks amazing. He does have some nice blue... Uh, blue lights or something there. Um, his articulation is very good. And he can't hold his weapon, but it's so hard to make him hold that assault rifle. I eventually got it, but it still kind of looks stupid, but it, it was pretty hard. Anyways, uh, so you can move his head however you want. Um, it looks pretty cool. You can put the battle rifle on the back of him. Um, so he's a pretty cool figure, honestly. He does have some battle damage there, which is very awesome. I'm going to give you a better close look at him, actually. So... Just a very awesome figure. Um, this is definitely one of the main reasons to get this set if you don't already have a Halo 3 Master Chief. Um, but yeah, let's go on to the next figure. Alright, so here is the new Assault Elite, uh, and his name is Yuzi Taham from uh, Halo 3. You could play as him if you had four players, I believe. Uh, he's very cool. I really like this figure. Um, I almost had a problem with his finger snapping off, but hopefully it stays in place. Uh, he's in the nice crimson, I guess, purple color. Uh, so. As you can see, he looks very cool. Uh, it's a very light metallic color. Uh, it's very plain. Um, well, not plain, but just looks great. He has that Covenant uh, de Forerunner detailing on him. Uh, I think it's Covenant. He does have that blue uh, stuff on his torso, just like all the elites have. Uh, and he does come with a plasma rifle, or at least that's what I gave him, which is upside down, of course. Um, his fingers are very, very... This is one very big con about the uh, two elites in this set, other than the Arbiter. Um, this is what they look like when you take them out, so it's, as you can tell, insanely hard to get them to hold a weapon. So I do recommend heating it up uh, to actually get a weapon in there. I had to actually squeeze it hard to get out of there, and it was really tough. Um, but once you do it, you can eventually get it out. I only tried it with this arm, because that arm just wouldn't do it. Uh, that hand just wouldn't do it. Uh, the Elite Assault head is very, very interesting looking. Uh, Megavox hasn't personally made this mold uh, yet. Did I just say personally? I don't know. They just haven't made the Elite um, Assault mold yet, and McFarlane has. And this is what it looks like if you guys have not seen this in the game. It's very interesting looking. Kind of looks like the Flight, kind of looks like the flight Elite. Um, but very cool. Uh, draws the back of his torso. Um, his articulation is very good as well. So, uh, that's him. Alright, so our next figure is the Combat Elite, uh, Natho Shireen. And he, uh, he is the, I think, Player 3 in the Halo 3 campaign co-op, uh, that you can play as. And he's very awesome. Uh, the paint on him is this very nice blue metallic color. It's very, very nice. Uh, he's got that same printing that the, uh, what's his name, Yuzi Tom has. And he's got that blue stuff on him. Uh, the paint is very nice. The detail is incredible. Just on that arm as well. Uh, he's got the Elite Combat Armor, which is very cool in a McFarlane form. I've never had a Combat Elite yet um, in the McFarlane line. It's very awesome. Even the head is quite cool. Uh, you can take off his mask, uh, so that's interesting. It does come with a plasma pistol that you can fit on his back. I gave him dual plasma rifles because it makes him look really good. Of course, this one's upside down again. Um, this guy's just awesome. I mean, this might be one of the main reasons to pick up this set as well. He is exclusive, so I don't know if you can get a blue uh, combat elite out of the McFarlane line. I'm sure you can, but I'm not 100% sure. So just a very, very awesome figure. And here is the Arbiter um, Thal 
Thel of Adam. So, uh, Thel of Adam, he is in the, he's in Halo 2 and Halo 3. Uh, he is definitely one of the main characters in the Halo universe. Uh, I mean, he's a must-have as a toy, basically. I ha actually haven't had an Arbiter as a McFarlane figure, so everything in the set is basically new to me. I had to get one, and I didn't want to pay the hefty prices that they've been going for. Uh, the one back in 2009 was going for, like, I think it was like $80, um, and the Halo Wars one has gone for, you know, $100 plus, and I'm not going to spend that on an action figure. But uh, this one definitely does the job. It's uh, very good looking. Uh, the gold armor is very accurate, uh, just like that big shoulder plate that the Arbiter has. Uh, the head sculpt is quite interesting. He's got those four fangs, or whatever they are called. I do forget the name. Uh, he does have those red and black eyes, which are quite scary. Uh, very awesome figure, as you can see. He's got those big boots, or not boots, feet. <laughs> um, those blue vein-looking things, uh, peg hole on the back. And just a very cool figure. Uh, give you a very nice close-up look at that. So, as you can see, I gave him a carbine. He's a little easier uh, to hold it just because his hand sculpt is different. So it's a little easier to get him to hold a weapon. Um, but uh, that's it for the figures. I did save the best for last, of course. This is my favorite in the set. Um, it, the blue elite almost passes him, but this has got to be my favorite. Um, so let's go into the ratings. Alright, so that does do it for the set. I did also want to mention that the set does contain three carbines, three plasma rifles, one plasma pistol, an assault rifle, and a battle rifle. So you do get a good load of weapons in this set. So it's definitely a good armory and figure set. Uh, the retail on this is $49.99. I got it for $39.99 off eBay. Um, this was an Amazon exclusive and it was very, 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 very limited. Um, I think it was only there for two months. So if you're going to want to get this best bet is eBay. I know there is one going for $39.99 the second that I'm filming. Um, so if you're watching this later in the future, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be there. But um, if you still don't have this, uh, be looking. Uh, it's a very good set. I highly recommend it to any Halo 3 fan. Um, if you're not a Halo 3 fan, you're pretty much not going to know who these two uh, elites are. Um, but I'm sure you guys are going to know who they are. Um, just because if you're a Halo fan, you're pretty much not going to know who the Arbiter Master Chief is. Anyways, um, very good set. I'm going to give this a solid 10 out of 10 just because it's so good. Uh, the only cons I have are that uh, the Elite's hands are a little hard to open, but the detail and the articulation are very, very, very good. So, a uh, 10 out of 10 for this set. Um, if you do find it for $50 or under, definitely get it. Um, above that, i mm, iffy, but, you know, 60 I'd still probably pay that too. I mean, you, you are getting four very good figures. So, uh, like I said, very good set, 10 out of 10. Um, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And um, so, yeah, thanks for watching.